హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ ఐఎమ్ బాలాజీ రావు వెల్కమ్ టు బిఆర్ మ్యాథ్స్ క్లాస్ ఇన్ లాస్ట్ క్లాస్ విడ్ ఇట్ ఫస్ట్ టూ బిట్స్ ఇన్ థర్డ్ క్వశ్చన్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాక్సిమం మినిమా ఎక్సైజ్ నెంబర్ సిక్స్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ క్లాస్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఎన్సిఆర్టి టెక్స్ట్ బుక్ ఇన్ లాస్ట్ క్లాస్ వీ క్లియర్లీ డిస్కస్డ్ వాట్ ఈస్ లోకల్ మ్యాక్సిమా వాట్ ఈస్ లోకల్ మినిమా రైట్ ఇన్ దిస్ క్లాస్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డూ దీస్ టూ బిట్స్ యు అబ్జర్వ్ we need to identify when this function attains local maximum value local minimum value when x value is in first quadrant x is in between 0 to pi by 2 okay so let's start solution of this to find where the function attains maximum value where the function attains minimum value we have two tests one is first derivative test another one is second derivative test you see this is second derivative test what we will do in this second derivative test Uh, by using second derivative test we can find where the function is maximum where the function is minimum in this what we'll do which function maximum values minimum values you want to find you will take that function as f of x okay after that we'll calculate f dash of x okay uh, we, after calculating f dash of x we'll equate f dash of x to 0 if you equate f dash of x to 0 you will get x values it may be one value or more than one value you will get x values like this after that you calculate f double dash of x how you will get f double dash of x you just differentiate f dash of x you will get f double dash of x after calculating f double dash of x you calculate f double dash of a as well as f double dash of b in case more than one value you get here okay i'll calculate f double dash of a if f double dash of a is greater than 0 the function attains minimum value at x equal to a and the minimum value is f of a if i got that f double dash of a is less than 0 by second derivative test we can say that f of x attains maximum value at x equal to a right so to do this problem i am going to use this uh, second derivative test we will follow these steps right so first point is what here they named function as h of x so here in place of f of x you take h of x that's it okay step one is what calculate h dash of x okay you differentiate this h dash of x derivative of sin x derivative of sin x is cos x plus derivative of cos x is minus sin x plus of minus is minus right so derivative of cos x is minus sin x okay i got h dash of x after calculating h dash of x what is the next step you equate that h dash of x to 0 and to get the x values okay i'll equate h dash of x to 0 if h dash of x equal to 0 what is h dash of x cos x minus sin x you equate this to 0 cos x minus sin x equal to 0 now you take this sin x to the right hand side part then what you will get cos x equal to sin x okay now you take tan x to this side sin x divided by cos x what you will get sin x divided by cos x is tan x you will get that tan x equal to 1 now we got tan x equal to 1 this is one trigonometric equation you know that for trigonometric equation infinitely many solutions will be there now i need to find x values which are in this uh, first quadrant and satisfying this trigonometric equation uh, so it, it is easy what are the x values we can find in first quadrant which satisfies this equation x equal to pi by 4 we got only one x value okay so this step is over after uh, step 3 is what we'll calculate h double dash of x right so you just differentiate h dash of x what you will get you will get h double dash of x okay uh, right h double dash of x you differentiate h dash of x you will get h double dash of x okay derivative of cos x derivative of cos x is minus sin x okay minus sin x minus derivative of sin x derivative of sin x is cos x now this step is also over i calculated h double dash of x after calculating h double dash of x what to calculate h double dash of a h double dash of b like that we'll calculate here you got only one x value na? you need to calculate h double dash of pi by 4 okay calculate h double dash of pi by 4 okay that equal to uh, in in place of x here pi by 4 is there na? in this equation wherever x is there there you write pi by 4 okay write minus sine pi by 4 minus 
cos pi by 4. Simplify this sin pi by 4 value is 1 by root 2 na. cos pi by 4 value is 1 by root 2. Minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 is what? Minus 2 by root 2. Here what I want here h double dash of pi by 4 value I don't want. Actually I want this value is less than 0 or greater than 0. Here we can easily say that this value is less than 0. So I got that h double dash of a value is less than 0. Then as per second derivative test, if h double dash of a is less than 0, then we say that function attains maximum value. Here they are asking local maximum, local minimum because in a respective interval, in a particular interval, they are asking here, right? So what I will say, uh, h of x attains, h of x attains local maximum at x equal to pi by 4. This function attains local maximum at x equal to pi by 4. What is that local maximum value? That local maximum value is h of pi by 4. h of x is there. Na? See, this is the function h of x. This is the function h of x sin x plus cos x. h of pi by 4 means in place of x you write pi by 4, right? That is what you will get here. Uh, this is a sin pi by 4 plus cos pi by 4 sin pi by 4 value 1 by root 2 cos pi by 4 value 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 is 2 by root 2 if you multiply numerator denominator with root 2 you will get root 2 so local maximum value of given function uh, attains at pi by 4 and that maximum value is root 2 i hope you understand this solution right so uh, to find a local maximum value or local minimum values in this exercise for most of the problems we will use second derivative test okay now we will move to next question okay you observe this is the function they given f of x equal to sin x minus cos x and x value is in this interval 0 to 2 pi 0 to 360 that means first quadrant to fourth quadrant we need to find where this function attains local maximum, local minimum, what is the local maximum value, what is the local minimum value, all those things we need to calculate. Okay. So, uh, what is second derivative test? Okay. Here, to find local maxima or local minima of this function, we will use second derivative test. So, first step is what? You calculate f dash of x. Okay. I will calculate f dash of x. Calculate f dash of x derivative of sin x is cos x minus derivative of cos x is minus sin x so minus of minus will become plus derivative of cos x is minus sin x so the function is f dash of x you will get like this cos x plus sin x now step 2 is what if f dash of x equal to 0 then what are the x values so you equate this function to 0 if if f dash of x equal to 0 that means cos x plus sin x equal to 0 you take this cos x to this side then what you will get you will get that sin x equal to minus cos x you divide both sides with cos x then what you will get sin x by cos x that is uh, sin x by cos x equal to minus 1 sin x by cos x is what sin x by cos x is tan x so tan x equal to minus 1. We got this tan x equal to minus 1. Now this is a trigonometric equation. We know for trigonometric equation infinitely many solutions will be there. But we need to find the x values which lies in this interval. Right. So here how to find. We need to find x values which satisfies this equation. Right. Tan x is negative and our x values are in first quadrant to fourth quadrant. Tan x is negative in which quadrant? Tan x is negative in second quadrant. Tan x is negative in fourth quadrant. In first quadrant, third quadrant, tan x is positive. So we will find tan x values negative in second quadrant as well as in fourth quadrant. Trigonometry knowledge is needed here to do this problem. Okay. So I want to find x values which satisfies uh, this equation. So what I will do second quadrant now I know that in second quadrant means pi by 2 plus theta lies in second quadrant pi minus theta also lies in second quadrant. I will use this pi by 2 plus theta lies in second quadrant. That's okay. Pi by 2 plus theta. Here I know tan pi by 4 value 1 here 1 is there. Na? Here here this 1 is there. Na? 
I'll use I know that tan pi by 4 value 1 so here what I'll do I'll write pi by 4 you please try to understand that pi by 2 plus theta pi by 2 plus theta lies in second quadrant if I take like this this definitely satisfies this trigonometric equation so that we will get x value which satisfies this trigonometric equation okay let's see what you will get if you calculate pi by 2 is there now when pi by 2 is there tan changes to cot right this is cot pi by 4 okay and pi by 2 plus theta lies in which quadrant second quadrant second quadrant tan is negative so this is minus cot pi by 4 minus cot pi by 4 is what minus 1 so what I am trying to say what are the x values satisfying this equation you see this is the x value this is the x value which satisfying this equation pi by 2 plus pi by 4 is what you simplify you will get x equal to 3 pi by 4 135 degrees right in the same way uh, tan x is negative in fourth quadrant also fourth quadrant means 3 pi by 2 plus theta 3 pi by 2 plus theta lies in fourth quadrant so I'll take 3 pi by 2 plus pi by 4 because I know tan pi by 4 value is 1. You check it tan 3 pi by 2 plus pi by 4 value you check it you will get minus 1 only. Okay. So if you simplify this what you will get 4 is the LCM 2 in this 6 times 6 pi plus pi 7 pi by 4. So another x value which lies in fourth quadrant satisfies given trigonometric equation is 7 pi by 4. I hope you are understanding. Okay. So first thing I calculated f dash of x. Second thing I calculate I equated f dash of x to 0 and I got the x values. Next third step is you calculate f double dash of x. Okay. So this is f dash of x now. You differentiate it f double dash of x you will get f double dash of x equal to derivative of cos x is minus sin x minus sin x minus der plus derivative of sin x is cos x derivative of sin x is cos x this is f double dash of x f after calculating f double dash of x next thing is what you need to calculate f double dash of a as well as f double dash of b you see here you got two x values you need to calculate f double dash of 3 pi by 4 f double dash of 7 pi by 4 also first we will do, uh, do the things with this uh, right so i need to calculate f double dash of 3 pi by 4 okay what is f double dash of 3 pi by 4 in this in this wherever x is there there you write 3 pi by 4 okay right so what you will get minus sin 3 pi by 4 plus cos 3 pi by 4 okay sin 3 pi by 4 we need to calculate its value it is useful so i'll write here uh, sin 3 pi by 4 value you want right sin 3 pi by 4 okay 3 pi by 4 can be written as pi minus pi by 4 yes pi minus pi by 4 here pi is there na? trigonometry knowledge is compulsory here pi is there na? sign remains sign only right this is sine pi by 4 uh, pi minus theta lies in second quadrant second quadrant sine is positive this is a plus sine pi by 4 sine pi by 4 value is 1 by root we need cos 3 pi by 4 value also so i'll calculate that cos 3 pi by 4 also 3 pi by 4 can be written as pi minus pi by 4 yes pi minus pi by 4 so uh, pi is there no function remains same trigonometry knowledge cos pi by 4 pi by 4 minus theta lies in second quadrant second quadrant cos is negative this is minus cos pi by 4 minus cos pi by 4 value is 1 by root 2 so cos 3 pi by 4 value is minus 1 by root 2. So you write these things so sin 3 pi by 4 value is 1 by root 2. Sin 3 pi by 4 value is 1 by root 2. Plus uh, cos 3 pi by 4 value is minus 1 by root 2. Minus plus of minus is minus 1 by root 2. Minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 is minus 2 by root 2. What I want here, I just want f double dash of 3 pi by 4 is less than 0 or greater than 0. You observe, clearly this is less than 0, right? Clearly this is less than 0. So what we say? We say that f of x attains, ah yes, attains less than 0, na? maximum, local maximum, f of x attains local maximum, f of x attains local maximum at x equal to 3 pi by 4. If they ask what is the local maximum value, what is the local maximum value? Local maximum 
local maximum value if they ask what is the local maximum value local maximum value is f of 3 pi by 4 f of 3 pi by 4 what is f of x you see f of x is cos x minus sorry f of x is sin x minus cos x f of x is sin x minus cos x f of 3 pi by 4 is what sin 3 pi by 4 minus cos 3 pi by 4 what is sin 3 pi by 4 value we just calculated here now. sin 3 pi by 4 value is 1 by root 2 right this is 1 by root 2 minus cos 3 pi by 4 value see here cos 3 pi by 4 value is minus 1 by root 2 so minus of minus plus 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 is 2 by root 2 if you multiply numerator denominator with root 2 this is nothing but root 2 so the function attains local maximum value in the respective interval at x equal to 3 pi by 4 and that maximum value is root 2 the function attains local maximum value at 3 pi by 4 and that local maximum value is what it is root 2 i hope you are understanding okay now this problem is not at over actually we need to calculate f double dash of 3 pi by 4 as well as f double dash of 7 pi by 4 f double dash of 3 pi by 4 is over now you need to calculate f double dash of 7 pi by 4 okay so f double dash of x this is f double dash of x what to calculate i want to calculate f double dash of 7 pi by 4 that is minus sine 7 pi by 4 plus cos 7 pi by 4 now i need sine 7 pi by 4 value as well as cos 7 pi by 4 value right sine 7 pi by 4 value uh, 7 pi by 4 you can write like this 2 pi minus pi by 4 this knowledge is needed i cannot uh, take much time here to explain these things uh, 2 pi is there no? when 2 pi is there function remains same right sine pi by 4 okay what is sine pi by uh, and 2 pi by 2 pi minus theta lies in which quadrant 2 pi minus theta lies in fourth quadrant fourth quadrant sine is negative this is minus sine pi by 4 so this is minus 1 by root 2 now at the same time we need this value also cos 7 pi by 4 i will calculate that cos 7 pi by 4 7 pi by 4 can be written as 2 pi minus pi by 4 right so uh, what you will get here 2 pi minus pi by 4 2 pi is there no? as 2 pi is there function remains same so this is cos pi by 4 2 pi minus theta which quadrant 2 pi minus theta is in fourth quadrant in fourth quadrant cos is what in fourth quadrant cos is positive so cos pi by 4 value 1 by root 2 substitute these values minus sin 7 pi by 4 sin 7 pi by 4 is minus 1 by root 2 minus of minus plus so this is a sin 7 pi by 4 value minus 1 by minus of minus plus plus cos 7 pi by 4 value is 1 by root 2 so 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 is what 2 by root 2 what i want here i just want this is less than 0 or greater than 0 f double dash of 7 pi by 4 this value is clearly greater than 0 so this is positive when it is positive what we say as per second derivative set second derivative test we say that f of x attains f of x attains local greater than 0 na? greater than 0 means local minimum f of x attains local minimum at at x equal to 7 pi by 4 local minimum value local minimum value what is local minimum value local minimum value is f of 7 pi by 4 local minimum value is f of 7 pi by 4 what is f of x f of x is sin x minus cos x f of x is sin x minus cos x so f of 7 pi by 4 is what sin 7 pi by 4 minus sin 7 pi by 4 minus cos 7 pi by 4 what is sin 7 pi by 4 we calculated here you see sin 7 pi by 4 value is minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 minus cos 7 pi by 4 value is 1 by root 2 right so what you will get uh, minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 by 2 is minus 2 by root 2 you can simplify this multiply numerator denominator with root 2 root 2 into root 2 you will get like this minus root 2 so what you got you got that local maximum value of given function attains at 7 pi by 4 and that's 
local mag local minimum value is minus root 2 i hope you understand these problems right if you like this video please drop a like and share it with your friends in case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe thanks for watching take care bye bye